super excited about fall. I don't know if you've read my post, but there is nothing that I don't love about fall. Even my home is decorated so that when fall comes, you just feel like it's fall all the time. Um, the colors, the smells, the cooking that the cooking styles that you use, um, the pumpkins, and the just all these fun, creative ways to like make breakfast. I love fall, and I can't even stand it. So today's the first day of fall, and we are celebrating. We're celebrating with our traditional, um, you know, beef stew in a pumpkin. I did this years and years and years ago with my kids, and you know, just trying to make dinner a fun dinner. Um, I got it. I don't even know where I heard about it or whatever, but um, I also was reading a book called Bread and Wine, and when I read that she, um, this, you know, the uh, Shauna had um, made the same meal, I was like, oh my gosh, this book is so for me, about me, you know, it's everything that I love, so if you ever have a chance to read Bread and Wine, um, you should. And um, anyway, so I just wanted to give it. So this was like definitely video worthy because it's something that a lot of people hear about and don't do because they're not sure what to do or never heard about it. So here you have it. So I made beef stew. Make your normal beef stew like like usual. Um, I have all the basics in there. My basics. You know how I roll with kale and spinach and onions and celery and carrots and all of that fun stuff. Um, tomatoes and you know I have it all in there. So. Uh, my beef stew is just about ready. It's reduced quite a bit, and um, it's nice and thick. I didn't use any potatoes. I definitely use um, roasted acorn squash, and this time I use butternut squash too, um, because I just feel like it it goes well with the pumpkin theme, um, and it also will thicken the sauce um, really nicely without having to add any cornstarch or anything like that into it. Um, but I gutted this ginormous, beautiful pumpkin, so I just cut around the top, gave it a lid, gutted it so it's nice and clean and I get to pull out my ladle because I use the ladle quite often in the fall so basically what I'm going to do is carefully because it is hot I am going to transfer the beef stew into my um, hollowed pumpkin I'm not going to go through all of the motions right now with you because you see what I'm doing it's going to be the same now and in five minutes from now so anyway once I've done that I grease the outside or, or even um, even before it doesn't have to do you don't have to do it like after you put the beef stew in but when I say grease I mean like olive oil just lightly coat the outside I pop this baby in the oven for like 15 minutes at like I don't know 425 and just let it get a little golden brown you don't want this to soften too much because then it will no longer be a good vessel for your beef stew but once you pull it out and you put it on the table and you let everyone just kind of scoop from this pumpkin onto their bowl into their bowls oh my gosh they feel like you love them so much more than any other season in the you know that we have in the year um i hope you love this i don't if you try it great if you don't i hope you had fun watching this and i will certainly put pictures up of us having dinner and you know with us actually scooping it out into our bowls